Hi Gemini, how are you going? This is your general reading for November. Hope you're all doing well and happy and looking forward to the festive season. All right, my loves, where to? Expansion first up. Growing. Look at that beautiful Merkaba star. Hope you can see it. I can't get the lighting on this camera. Very good. So let's just go with what we've got, shall we? Transformation. Beautiful. Loving this so far. And there is only light. So what we're looking at is opening our heart to transform not just us and our immediate environment, but hopefully send that ripple effect out further and further and further. Because ultimately, we are all made of energy particles. And the smallest energy particle that is an actual um, particle is a photon, and that's a light particle. So when you break it all down, um, we're made up of all sorts of things, energy vibrations plus light. And I love that. So let's see where we're going this month for you. You'll notice, hopefully, that I finally ta -da, got the setup that I've been talking about for a couple of months now. So I hope you like the new setup where you can see the cards up close and personal. All right, as usual, my loves, I will lay them out and then we will get into it. At the bottom of the deck, you've got the chariot. Yes, moving forward, going further. Expanding, you could say. King of Coins, the Devil, Nine of Swords, King of Wands, Two of Cups, Page of Coins, Four of Coins, Five of Coins, lots of coins in here, Five of Cups, and the Star. I like the star coming out at the end, and I'll tell you why when we get there. So the foundation is the nine of swords. This is the foundation of the whole working. And that is sleepless nights, overthinking, um, worry, overanalyzing. And it could be about where we're going with money. Now... With the King of Wands in the past, that's passionate action. And in the highest vibration, it's intelligent action um, with lots of drive and motivation to bring the light to, you know, whatever you're doing. At the moment, you could be questioning, well, where's the... Where's the um, financial success in that? I'm not. Either I'm not making the finances that I want to make or I am. And the block is the attachment to that. If you're not making as much in return as you want, then you are attached to the reason you're doing it is for financial gain. If you are making enough money or, or what you desire, then your attachment is to more. I want more. Um, and so what we're looking at as a block or a challenge this month is our attachment to money and overthinking, sleepless nights over money. At the head of the matter and is the Two of Cups. And this is about a union. 
It can be between your own masculine feminine energies. It can be a partnership. It can be a love relationship. It can be any kind of union where there is balance. Um, and that's what we're leading into is where is the balance in all of this? When you are moving forward, what balance are you taking forward with you? Because if you don't, you know, take that, then your car will fall over or your bike will fall over or whatever you are. But, but if it's not balanced, you're not going anywhere, basically. Coming up is the page of coins, and this is planting new intentions. We've got a new moon coming up, I think, on the 4th. And that is about planting your intentions for the next month. Um, this is where you get to release the attachment. A very common um, metaphor for growing um, and manifesting is planting your intention. Now, you don't keep digging up the seed to see how far it's grown. You just plant the intention and you nurture it but you let it grow and you trust that it's going to grow. This is where you're up to. Just put your intention out there and make it from a heart-centered, not a need-centered, from a, um, a, a deep knowing of trust that you'll be okay and you know, being fearful that if you don't keep control over this, then you're not going to get what you want. You are quite, um, it, it's, it feels like there's this real stuck energy around this. It's a real fear energy around this. I want this, but I don't know how to let go of this. And the four of the four of coins is where this is the hanging on. This is the, you know, staying stuck in the old and what you want and how you're frightened that you'll lose it. This is the the gripping on part, and that's kind of where you are at the moment. Um you could also fear that if you this is the five of coins this is being left out so if you do choose a different way if you choose to be more balanced and even in your life then you'll be left out of the next big thing or the next step or what somebody else is doing and that's that's frightening and with two fives one after the other it's a it's a real fear of change it's a real fear of what's going to happen if i let go if you know i don't have control over this and the five of cups is grief and that is your hopes and fears you hope that you'll be able to let go of this you know attachment because that's causing you grief you know the lack of energy or the amount of energy that you're feeding into this need um is is causing grief but you're frightened that if you just let go and trust that everything's gonna work out you know at the end of the day are you gonna look back and go geez i wish i spent more time at work or are you gonna look back and go geez i spent more, i wish i'd spent more time being like with my family with my loved ones on the beach walking in nature i wish i'd spend much more time to enjoy the life i had rather than con continuously looking for the next thing that's that's what we're looking at this month and at the end you're going to come across some healing anyway the tower is not here but this has the same kind of vibe and if you you notice it's like the big picture this is the big picture um i saw a, um a, a film of the voyager where carl sagan 
ask them to turn the camera around as they were leaving the solar system and you saw the earth from close up and then it gradually pulled away and Carl Sagan was speaking over um, the imagery and he was talking about this blue dot and we are just this tiny little speck in the greater picture and if we can keep that perspective then our tiny little things don't matter so much it's like in the broad scheme of life when we look at the big picture does it really matter if you know we work 80 hours a week to get what we want what's the purpose of doing that isn't the purpose something greater than that so that's the kind of healing you're looking towards and and really you might not even know it but that's what you're actually seeking is this real deep healing of what's actually really important so I hope this helps and I hope it brings some clarity to you much love bye